all of a sudden, blessed memory, Prophet T.B. Joshua came and saw everybody's Bible reading this name, Joshua. This name, Joshua. I don't want to mention names. <laughs> this name, Joshua. This name, Joshua. That name, Joshua. That name, Joshua. Ah, ah. What ah, how did the prophet discover? Okay. He was always teaching us. Okay, give me your Bible. Just open the first page. Ah, ah. This is Joshua. Ah. Where is your father's name? He says, I love you so much. You are my daddy. He said, No, 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 no. Don't call me your daddy. You have a father. He said, No, we love you. You are my daddy. You are my daddy. I know many of them are listening to this. You are my daddy. You are my daddy. You, I will die for you. I will do this for you. And one thing Prophet T.B. Joshua does not like is mischievous acts. He was a man of principle. He never compromised evil throughout his life until he passed on. How do I mean? Hello, beloved. Welcome back to Patrick Machane. I brought you an interesting video from wise man Daniel. As you all know, for the past days now, a lot of things have been happening. BBC Africa re released a lot of documentary concerning TB Joshua and a lot of people came out to say what the man of God did to them and all that. So I'm not going to talk much, but I'm going to let you watch the video so that you hear from the wise man yourself. But before I do that, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share this video so that it gets to a lot of people so that they can know what is happening and what happened in the church in the past before the man of God passed on. So as you all know, a lot of news came out. A lot of people came out to say that the man of God abused them sexually and a whole lot, young men, old, young, and that, that he did this, he did that to them while they were serving him. But what got me is that wise man Daniel says that one day the man of God was teaching them and he came across like he wants to use one of them's Bible and he saw that Joshua was written on it where your father's name was supposed to be written. He saw that Joshua was written there and he was like, why? He took the next person's on the same thing. He took the other person's on the same thing. And he asked, ah, ah, I'm not your biological father. You have a father. So where you're supposed to put your father's name, you should put, you shouldn't put my name there. And a lot of them will say, oh, you are my father. You are my father in Christ. You are, I took you as my father. You replaced my father, this, that, that, that. I love you. I'll do this for you. I'll die for you and all that and all that. Like, that is human being for you. When it's, everything is rosy, they, they will say all manner of things. But when when you don't condole their attitude or what they are doing to you, you start hearing different stories and all that. And that is what the man of God, wise man Daniel, is trying to explain to us and try to, like, tell us that this man is a good man. Prophet T.B. Joshua is a good man. And all these things that all those people are coming out to say that he did this, he did that. He never did any of them. So here is the video, guys. And where problem came is this in Squan. Ask me, I will tell you. Listen to where problem came in Squan. All of a sudden, blessed memory, Prophet T.B. Joshua came and saw everybody's Bible reading this name, Joshua. This name, Joshua. I don't want to mention names. <laughs> this name, Joshua. This name, Joshua. That name, Joshua. That name, Joshua. Ah, ah. What, ah, how did the prophet discover? Okay. He was always teaching us. Okay, give me your Bible. Just open the first page. Ah, ah. This is Joshua. Ah. Where is your father's name? He says, I love you so much. You are my daddy. He said, no, 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 no. Don't call me your daddy. You have a father. Say, no, we love you. You're my daddy. You're my daddy. I know many of them are listening to this. You're my daddy. You're my daddy. You, I will die for you. I will do this for you. And one thing Prophet T.B. Joshua does not like is mischievous acts. He was a man of principle. He never compromised evil throughout his life until he passed on. How do I mean? If you offend now, he will call the meeting. And everybody will hear what you have said so that you'll be a witness tomorrow. And many of us were not happy about this. Some of them that were caught in certain acts, I cannot say here. 
through their phone and what have you. And that was what made Prophet T.B. Joshua to bring out a law and said nobody should use handset anymore. So that he could save us from unnecessary thing, necessary evil. Because of this, many of them took offense and left the church, ganged up and became the events you are witnessing today. I'm not supposed to go too far, but let me tell you something. You heard it from one of our colleagues, the five wise men. When you talk about those who were carrying his phone bag, I was privileged by grace to be one of those. If this is the room of the prophet, he has only one door that leads to his own room. Why? Because he loves monitoring us. As a leader, you have to monitor your sheep, your people. He doesn't sleep. 12 midnight, he will come out. What are you doing? I'm studying my Bible. Okay, he'll go back to his room. It's not possible for you to enter his room without passing through us. About 12 to 13 boys. The question now is, you say he did this to you, he did that to you. Did you disappear into his room? <laughs> or you tiptoed? Where I was lying, you, you crossed me. Where Harry was lying, you crossed Harry. Where Kisova was lying, you crossed Kisova. Where Rasin was lying, you crossed Rasin. Where Jonti was lying, you crossed Jonti. And Rita entered the bedroom. Oh my God. When I heard this, I said, wow, what is happening? Why? Because you needed more. And the man of God knows that this more you need will not help your career. You took offense. To the extent that many of them started dragging things with the biological children. That is the consequence of daddy. Daddy, daddy, I will die for you. When trouble comes, you could not die anymore. Daddy became Satan. Because you could not achieve your children's motive. To the extent that if you buy something for the daughter, you also want the same thing for you. Because you are daddy's child. Forgotten how he got you. Cleanse you of your iniquities. To make you a human being. And now you turn against the same finger that fed you. Let us watch and see the end. So guys, you all heard what Vice Bandane has explained to us concerning what is happening. And actually, for me, it's not that I'm taking side or anything. If you went through abuse, I don't know whether you are a spirit that you disappear and appear when the man of God call you or you possess some kind of power or he has put some kind of power in you that you possess it that when he said that oh, you want to make funny art with you, you just appear in his room, then he does that funny art, then you, you also disappear back to so all those things. I don't really know what happened, but I'm not taking sides. But based on what this wise man said, wise man Daniel says here, how will you be able to pass five boys or five men to get to TV Joshua's inner chamber? Are you going to tiptoe or are you going to disappear? So me, I will stick to that. You disappearing to his room. Then he has that funny things that he wants to do with you and all those things. And as you all know from his wife and from other few people that have come out to defend him, they say that this man does not condone evil art, neither does he tolerate your bad characters and attitude and all those things. So probably that is the reason why I feel like some people got hurt oh why can't he give in, in why can't he give in to what i'm doing why can't he like all those things and you know they say a lot of them are very disrespectful if you remember after he died his wife like deported a lot of people and chased a lot of people from the church that they should go to their houses they should go back to their country and i remember i heard some rumors that period that she went to the embassy to deport a lot of white people black like all kinds of shades, all kinds of colors of people. She deported them that she went to the embassy to connect with the embassy people to deport them because they want to fight her for ownership of the church and the church belongs to her husband as you all know from like see so some of all these things i'm not going to come here and sit and say oh i'm taking sides to be joshua didn't do this to you he did that to you the light the truth will surely come out so there is nothing to say oh he did that to me people are not supporting me and all those things and 
for BBC Africa, sometimes some things they say, oh, it's true, it's well verified, and all those things is enslave those people. And if you watch at the beginning, why is Mandana says something that is because of messages that are being sent from one phone to another? That is the reason why he stopped them from using handset. So if you feel you're not conducive or you don't like that, you should have just leave the church, then be there and become a turn on his flesh even while he's dead you're trying to make up news rumors and all those things he did that he did this he didn't do that he didn't do that to you so it's up to you so let's just keep our finger across and see what is going to happen at the end of the day and watch what will become of those people that have came out to say that oh tb joshua did this to me he did that to me i like for those that say that they did abortions and all those things for him i don't really know but i just don't understand if all these are lies how do you sleep at night how do you eat how do your conscience is at peace at all time like for you to lay such level of allegation against someone let's even forget about the man of god what you and i know that this person didn't do to you you are coming to like the word at last to say that this person did that he did this to you so i just don't understand some caliber of people or some set of people that would just say oh we want to group ourselves and lay this allegation against this man of god so i'm not going to talk much here is the continuation of the video now listen to this you'll be surprised to hear this i will show you some documentaries for you to know that for me to keep quiet all this why i know how it began i know where they are coming from and i know the end of this battle I will say congratulations, my fellow students of this great university who took time to learn the right thing for Prophet T.B. Joshua for not be, becoming part of these blasphemers. Congratulations to you for not coming out to utter things out of provocation. Congratulations to you. If you're a man of vision and revelation, you will know that Prophet T.B. Joshua, if he were to be alive, he would not come out and say anything. Now, let me ask you a question. Before your enemy can come out and begin to make noise in the public, it means that enemy has tried to silence you spiritually, but you cannot succeed. The best way to clear your enemy should be silently, so, so that nobody will even know you did it. But for me to come out and start saying, you are stupid, you are this, means I have tried everything. Spiritually to get, I could not. This is the last battle of the enemy. Because they tried spiritually, they could not get him. And come to think of it as well. In the history of humanity, who or which man of God has passed on and his case is still causing up what you want to do? I'm not saying there is no man of God. But... We have men of God and we have the apple of God's eye. This is by revelation. Go in prayer and find out. When you think of Moses, remember Prophet TV Joshua. When you think of Elijah, remember Prophet TV Joshua. Who fought their battle for them? Then why are you disturbing yourself? Why are you shouting and making noise and... I mean, why? Now, listen to this before I play this documentary. We are fighting the smoke. Where well, is the firewood is still burning. They're <laughs> fighting smoke. Fighting smoke. Fighting just little smoke. They're fighting. Fighting. The firewood is there. Who is the firewood? Who are the firewood? <laughs> listen to this. Don't be surprised about what is happening now. Judas Iscariot was a treasurer. Who can you liken to a treasurer today? But the Bible recorded that when it was time for Jesus Christ to be glorified, Satan entered him and hardened his heart to the extent that he was very bold to stand before the Savior and say, and betrayed him with a kiss. 
Many of you were saying, ah, are these people not afraid? How can they say this to this man? We know it's not possible. It is, it is written that their heart must be hardened for their cup to be full for judgment. I'm not here to mention the two countries that are involved in this, but listen to this. When it was time for the children of God to cross the Red Sea and enter the promised land, the heart of the king of the enemy was hardened for judgment. What's the judgment? For them to perish in the Red Sea. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Can't you see? Can't you see the handwriting on the wall? Why are you, why are you disturbing yourself fighting for nothing? Can't you see the handwriting on the wall? Can't you see the handwriting on the wall? But for me, as a man of little grace, with what I've learned from this man, this great man, who has touched my life and the lives of others in a unique way, we have been able to receive something unique from him. Being able to receive revelation before it comes to pass. Being able to see before it comes to pass. Not because we are powerful, not because we are better than others, but because of grace. So guys, you all heard what Wiseman Daniel said concerning those people that are coming out to say a whole lot of things about Prophet T.B. Joshua. So guys, I'm not going to really talk much, but just let me know your thoughts, your opinion after hearing what Wiseman Daniel says concerning those people. Let me know your thoughts at the comment section below. Let's talk what you feel, what you think. Is it true that T.B. Joshua did those things they were saying or it's all lie? And what is going to be their fate at the end? Let me know your thoughts at the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching this video. God bless you. See you in my next one.